Hi, it's Kendrick at worldmedicalschool.org. We're going to talk about autism, etc., which is the autism spectrum disorders. These are also called the pervasive developmental disorders. And altogether, they affect about uh, 1% of the population, more so in boys and girls. And autism is the most common of all these. So uh, autism, Asperger's, Rett's disorder, childhood disintegrative disorder, and then uh, pervasive developmental disorders not otherwise specified. You'll, you'll see this uh, NOS abbreviation quite a bit in, in psychiatry because uh, there's a lot of disorders that don't quite fit the mold of, uh, of uh, psychiatric disorder. And so uh, you say not otherwise specified to kind of say it's like these disorders, but, but it doesn't quite fit into one of the categories we've already got. So uh, these kids will have symptoms before the age of three, but a lot of times they don't get picked up right away because in these younger ages, you know, it's still in the still in the spectrum of normal. The major symptoms are impaired social interaction or communication. A lot of the times these kids don't smile very much. They don't make eye contact. They don't show a lot of interest in relationships. And I put lack of interest here, but uh, but they have interests. They just are generally interested in different things than what the rest of us are interested in. And uh, so sometimes that will be just fixating on, on one particular object or just a piece of an object. I've got a picture here of a kid laying down next to his toys that he's aligned perfectly in a row. Now this is something that my little boy did all the time. He doesn't have a, 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 autism, but but uh, it is kind of an early sign. Just this uh, attention to detail and order. And a lot of people with autism are starting to say, you know, maybe this isn't so much of an impairment, but just a difference that they have this attention to detail, and their brain works a little bit differently, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. That's that's uh, an idea that's being proposed by adults who identify with autism or Asperger's, but I think in general most parents are still kind of viewing it as a disease that needs to be cured. So add on this list of the presentation stereotype speech or movement. A lot of times they'll repeat things or do the same uh, movement or, or activity over and over again. One example would be stacking cans over and over and over again. Delayed or absent speech is a key f feature of autism. Sometimes you uh, will have an autistic child that is uh, 10, 14, or even an adult that uh, that doesn't speak or, or has very limited speech. And then there's some cognitive impairment involved that sometimes it's hard to put, a, uh, put any specifics on just because uh, the lack of speech. So, and then the term Asperger's, usually is just considered autism without the speech or a cognitive impairment. So these people can op often function really well in school. They do, uh, they do well uh, uh, even up through college. But they just don't do well socially because they have some of these aspects uh, listed above. They, they're not as interested in relationships. Uh, they're often described as, uh, as lacking empathy. They just don't really feel uh, feel what other people feel, and a lot of times they they have a hard time communicating, so they don't do, have uh, a lot of friends, but they they can still uh, they can still function in jobs and in school. Rett's disorder is found in females, and it's progressive impairment after five months of normal development. So. This can happen at uh, at a fairly early age, or it can can happen, you know, when they're a little bit older as well. You know, two or three, you can have this uh, this progressive impairment. 
and it's uh, going to look a little bit like the next one that we'll talk about, except for it's got uh, a impaired head growth, which is kind of different. And um, the d big difference here is that it's a genetic disorder, and therefore it doesn't fit as well into the psychiatric disorders. Um, and there's talk about taking it out of DSM-5. Childhood disintegrative disorder can look a little bit like Rett's. appears both in males and females, though. And it has severe regression after the age of two years. And so a, a difference here would, that, that would be that you don't have the, the head size difference. But language, motor skills, social skills, and uh, some of these kids who have been potty trained will start wet in the bed, start uh, losing control of their bowels, and they might lose interest in some, some of the games that they used to play. So treatment for this spectrum of diseases is mostly focused on special education and management of behavior. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of uh, the autistic community are starting to identify themselves as a, a, a different but not impaired uh, community of people. And, and therefore, some of the shift has some some of the treatment has shifted over to uh, basically just fitting into society or finding a place in society as opposed to changing changing the way the brain works and some support groups like wrongplanet.net and a lot of other online resources are available and very helpful to these people who are used to being very different. So if they can have the support of people who are like them, that can be really helpful for them. And uh, family counseling is important because the, it takes a lot of, uh, it takes a toll on, on families to have a child that is autistic. You can treat with some drugs for uh, some particular behaviors like SSRIs for the stereotype behavior and neuroleptics for aggression. But in general, the main management is education and uh, support. Um, to volunteer, please uh, go to worldmedicalschool.org at backslash volunteer. There's a lot of things that we could uh, use help with, including preparing these presentations, managing the website. Uh, some uh, We need some help with design and uh, a lot of help with editing. But uh, if you have a moment right now, just leave a comment on the video if there's anything that you saw that uh, should have been included or, and wasn't, and uh, anything that uh, was incorrect on the video. Thanks.